Hi, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, so this is a love reading. I missed you guys yesterday. I was not feeling well, you guys. I was dealing with a serious migraine. And for those of you who are um, females, you know what it happens. You have those, you know, specific days out of the month and you get those migraines at the same damn time. It's some bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, that's how that went, so. Yeah, dealing with a serious migraine. Like I could not get up out of the bed. My baby was like, "Mom, you need to go grocery shopping." Like, ah. All right, Scorpio, you guys have the magician, the page of wands, and the two of swords. Uh oh, something stalling. Something stalling. You have the habit card, which is the Capricorn's card at the bottom of the deck. So something stalling. What is it, Scorpio? It's you. Oh shit, you guys. Why do you keep getting in trouble? What is what are you doing, Scorpio? Why do you keep getting in trouble? All right, so the magician, the pit. You're excited about something. What are you waiting to come out? You won't allow yourself to be happy. There is no confusion here, but yet you're still trying to figure some stuff out. All right, let's look at this magician. What are you why is this magician here? Why are you doubting what you've manifested? Why are you doubting it? Why are you doubting it? Scorpios don't lose, usually doubt it. We just, you know, I mean, we have trust issues. I get it. But we also know that we're supposed to be blessed, right? So why are you doubting it? Mm. So you think that this person that's bringing all of this Knight of Cups, Page of Wands energy into your life is going to break your heart. You also feel like that this Page of Swords, from what I'm seeing here, that this Page of Swords energy is more on the level of you need to continue to watch this individual from what I'm seeing here. However, this individual, is, they don't have a plan on breaking your heart. At least I don't see it here. Oh, things have changed, Scorpio. Things have changed. You have you have walked into an opportunity for you to have um, stability, for you to rebuild your trust and love. Look at this. I can't make this stuff. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and a Lover's card. So I'm gonna break down the cards for you because people like when I do that um, instead of just saying what see, saying what I see. So here's the Knight of Cups, right? So the Knight of Cups represents someone that shows emotion, shows feelings, shows that they are interested, right? They express their emotions their, with their actions and their, you know, and their, their, way, their, their way of being, right? So actions. The Three of Swords to me is I feel like you're dis you're you feel like something's gonna happen where this person disappoints you. So you're still investigating with the page of swords because the page of swords represents what being an, an an investigator, right? The page of swords goes out and invests. He goes to check and see. He or she goes to check and see what's going on. You know, di dive in a little bit deeper, right? But spirit is bringing out the will of fortune. Because spirit is saying, go with the flow, Scorpio. There's a new, this is a new day, Scorpio. This is a new day. You don't have to walk away from this situation because this person isn't walking away from you. They don't plan on breaking your heart. They're not going anywhere. Here's a, here's a queen of pentacles, right? This person is coming here so that you can rebuild what was torn away, what was taken away. Obviously, you dealt with some sort of heartache that you're not allowing yourself to enjoy this. You're... you're you are skeptical of someone's actions towards you. But from what I'm seeing here, this person is going to show up as someone that is a team player, is willing to play what is going to, I hate to say, I don't want to use the word play, but come along with you on this journey so that they could give you the nine of cups and bring you this love. Amen to that. Okay, first of all, Put an end to this, Scorpio, and enjoy the moment. I know there's one of my moderators that woke me up. Actually, there's two, Tev and, um, and Trey. They said to me, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. 
Um, so I get it, you guys. I get it. I get it. All right, Scorpio, from what I'm seeing here, we're looking into this page of wands because I feel like you're excited, but you won't let your one minute you allow yourself to be excited. The next minute you get into that dark um, energy, like something's going to happen. Something's going to take it away. Scorpio, this is a new day. You have to allow yourself to enjoy it. All right, we're looking into this page of wands energy. You have the eight of wands. You have the ace of wands. You have the page of swords. See, you won't allow yourself to go there. The knight of cups, the eight of swords, the high priestess, and the ten of cups. That's what this person wants with you. Heck, that's what you want. You could have met this person online. I can't forget about my Keisha girl. <laughs> just thought about Keisha she was like you deserve it oh she did send me an email thank you Keisha so um I feel like Scorpio you you could have met this person online you could have met this person while you were traveling they excited you but you still feel like you need to investigate this a little bit more you have the two of swords I'm sorry you have the eight of swords and the two of swords energy which represents the ten of swords to me is bringing out insecurities Listen to your intuition. This wouldn't be before this if your intuition wasn't telling you to enjoy it. I do truly feel you need to sit in this feminine energy with this high priestess and enjoy the moment fully, Scorpio. You deserve this, okay? Like Keisha said. <laughs> you deserve it. That's another Scorpio, you guys, one of my moderators. So the Ten of Cups here, from what I'm seeing, is... You're supposed to be enjoying this. You're supposed to be content with this and be happy with this. So you won't allow yourself to be happy with this for some reason. The lover's card is here. And this person is just like trying to figure out why. You have the five of pentacles, the lover's card, and the king of swords. Who the heck is this person? Whoa, wait a minute. I knew it was somebody else because there's another king. All right, Scorpio, you have someone else that is not too happy seeing you happy. There's the emperor. Oh, hold on, y'all. All right. So I have to tell you, you're going to have someone that's in the background, not too happy about you being happy. And I mean, they ain't going to say much, but they ain't too happy about you being happy. And that could be the energy that you're picking up on. And that could be the reason why you are not allowing yourself to fully enjoy this moment as well. All right. So let's see. Two of swords here. Let's see this two of swords. The hangman, the empress, the two of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the moon, the magician. This is what you manifest in Scorpio. You have the ten of swords. You need to leave that ten of swords behind. Ten of pentacles, seven of cups, and the nine of swords. You need to leave someone behind. <laughs> Nana, I can hear you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can hear you, woman. Um, you need to leave someone behind so that you can stop stressing and enjoying the moment here. Okay, so here it is. I'm clarifying the two of swords, Scorpio. You have the hangman here. Let go. So, yet, so that you may be able to immerse yourself into this wonderful thing that you have manifested for yourself and you're not going to be able to do that if you don't first of all i tell you guys this all the time you have to acknowledge your pain in order for you to get over your pain right so i'm guilty of it too you know i get it so the ten of swords to me you gotta leave that behind you gotta cut the strings now and you gotta know that this is something that you have manifested you have an opportunity to have longevity in a situation 
if you make the right choices, if you don't bring anxiety and fear and worrying into this connection, okay? So if you, the next card is the King of Cups. The card after that is the Eight of Swords. You gotta break some strings in the Three of Swords. You gotta cut these strings. Look at this. Look at the strings. Look at this. You gotta cut it, Scorpio. Cause you gotta, you gotta release, you have to let go. If you don't release and if you don't let go, then you, you can't fully immerse yourself into this situation. There's a King of Cups, there's a Three of Pentacles. You are blessed to have someone that is willing to sit and allow, not allow, but accept that you are going through this right now. Five of Wands, the Sun card, the Six of Swords. Say goodbye so that you may have peace. The Six of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Wherever you are headed, you're supposed to be enjoying. So you have to release. But this is your bonus, you guys. If you haven't watched the one from Blue Tarot, go and watch the one from Blue Tarot. I will speak to you later. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching.